we're actually in my garden for this one. Um, under my children's swing <laughs> and hammock. Um, and I I was out here earlier and I've, I've mowed around this and I was just looking at how kind of how well it's doing and how much of it there is and making plans of of what I can use it for. I'd realised that I hadn't done, despite it growing in my garden, I hadn't done a video for you. Um, so this is chamomile um, and it does have a couple of very, very similar look-alikes. Um, and it's actually quite difficult for me to explain just from looking at them what the differences are. Um, I often find in the field um, so there's stinking mayweed and there's scentless mayweed um, and in the field I often find that I can tell the difference just from having seen them all quite a lot of times um, at least between chamomile and the other two uh, as a, a pair um, the stature is, is slightly different so chamomile is, is a little bit more kind of delicate uh, the, the frondy leaves are are often much kind of slimmer. They look slightly more robust on mayweed, um, and just the the way that it grows looks slightly different. Um, but to pinpoint those things is quite difficult. Um, the other thing that I often notice is on chamomile. You see the side profile of the the yellow center of the flowers is really quite domed and raised, very prominent from the the white petals. Um, and that's uh, quite indicative. It, it's not a perfect way of, of telling, but I'm going to show you something that is slightly more perfect. Um, firstly, I can't show you the smell, but what I would say to you is if you do this, if you squeeze them slightly and then pick it and give it a sniff, chamomile smells incredible. Nothing like the, the dried store-bought chamomile tea that you buy. Fresh chamomile smells People describe it as like apples, um, but it's it's more intense than that and sweeter. And I'd say it was more like like apple sweeties, like a a kind of apple plus, um, and very sweet smelling. Stinking mayweed, uh, like the name suggests, smells quite unpleasant. Um, a little bit urine like sometimes, but definitely quite a strong smell and, and not a nice one. Um, and scentless mayweed, again, like the name suggests, doesn't smell of anything very much. Um, the other thing that we can do if we're carrying a knife, which we often are when we're foraging, is if we cut... That's a, a terrible example, trying to do it with one hand, that's why. So, if we cut through the centre... Oh, there we go, that's better, of the flowers. Inside chamomile, I will get it to focus, it's hollow. So you can see it's got this cavity in the middle. And that's not true of the mayweeds. Um, I can't think of anything else that, that you're likely to mistake this for, especially given the smell. Um, it has a relative uh, that we call pineapple weed, but pineapple weed is, is usually a bit smaller in stature. And it's just this middle part, it doesn't have these white petals. Um, and it smells very strongly of pineapple. Um, the other things are kind of daisies and feverfew and things like that, but they don't have the same, um, these very kind of almost fennelly, frondy uh, looking leaves. So um, daisies will have much more kind of broad with a, a lobed edge on the side of the leaves. Um, they're small, but they're, they're proper leaves. Uh, feverfew, uh, has almost kind of slightly fern-like apiacier looking leaves um, but not these these kind of frondy fennelly looking leaves um, and yeah so the smell and the hollow nature of the inside are your two most useful characteristics um, and once you've found it it keeps coming back and back it's I mean it's considered a weed by a lot of people I love it um, because I can use it for so many things um, you can use it for tea. As I say, it's nothing like the dried stuff. It's really, really lovely. Um, I use it to infuse things for desserts. I think uh, chamomile, um, I made chamomile milk jellies the other day, um, like gummy sweets. I've done uh, chamomile panna cottas before. 
I think it's a really lovely thing to incorporate into summery desserts. Um, and you can have a play, anything that you can infuse with a delicate uh, scent and that's not going to be overtaken by something else will work. Um, so yeah, have a have an experiment. And it's a really easy one to buy if you want to as well um, and introduce into your garden. I've been lucky enough that, that mine has volunteered. Um, but eventually I'm hoping that it will spread more and more and I can have a mostly chamomile lawn. Um, do press like and subscribe. It helps me to grow the channel. Um, you can now buy me a coffee, which uh, is just a way of, of tipping me for the work I'm doing. Um, the link will be in the description underneath. And, uh, and yeah, enjoy your foraging, even if it is just in your back garden.